Hello, welcome back. Today we're doing this baby chick, uh, just with pom-poms. You will need some yarn. I used acrylic yarn. I guess you can use any yarn you find. And you'll use some scissors. And then I used safety eyes for my, and just cut them in half with this one. I don't know what it is, but sorry. Um, but you can, of course, also use buttons or what kind of things you have. So let's begin. First, we need to make two pom-poms with the yellow yarn. So grab your yarn and we will start with the big one for the body. And after that, we will make the small one for the head. For the big one, we will use four fingers. So grab the yarn and wrap this yarn around four fingers 150 times. That's it. After that, we grab the yarn and pull it off our hand. Then we cut it. Then we take some extra yarn and make it a double. Cut that as well. And then we tie a knot around this piece. And we're not only doing one time over like you used to, we are wrapping it around one time extra before we give it a pull. Because when we let go, it won't get up. And I put it double so we can really yank it. And then we make another knot just to make sure. And that's it. Then we grab our scissors. And then we cut around the edges and then we trim it. Make sure you cut all these loops and be careful not to cut the one on the inside. Then it all will untie and you have to start over. And make sure you trim it really really well and give it a good fluff. So all these ends are coming out. And when you're satisfied, we have this body piece. We leave that to the side and then remove all this. It's really messy. And then you get your yellow yarn again. And now for the head, we will only use three fingers. So wrap the yarn around three fingers 120 times. So keep wrapping this around your fingers 120 times. After that, we take it off and cut the yarn, grab a tail and make it a double again. And then we tie it around this piece. And remember to wrap it around twice and pull. And then again, twice around the same and pull. Then we do the same thing again. Cut the edges, all the little loops. I recommend you find some really sharp scissors. It makes this very much easier. And then you give it a trim and make sure it's smaller than the body. It should get that either way, but if you're not trimming it as much as the other one, it won't. That's it. Now we have a head and a body. And now we will glue them together. To attach the head and the body, we will remove some of the hair. And give it a good piece of glue. And now for the feet, 
we will make the yarn double and cut it. And then we'll tie a knot on the middle. Then we'll tie a knot on top of that and continue all until the feet is long enough. Then make three of those and grab another piece of yarn and put them on top and tie a knot, a double knot like we did before and pull. And we have a little chicken foot. And you take the longer end and you wrap it around a couple of times. That's it. And you tie a knot with this excess yarn. Then you cut it and you have a little chicken foot. Make it another one to have a couple and then we will glue it on the chicken. To attach the feet we will find a fitting place and separate the yarn a bit before we put on the glue. And the other one on the other side, the same thing. Separate the yarn and give it some glue. For the beak we will have three strands of yarn. And again, we will, like the feet, tie a knot. on the middle and then again tie until you think the beak is long enough when you're done we tie a big knot around all of it. So I like to attach the beak before I attach the eyes. So we grab our little baby chick and find the middle of the head and separate the yarn, a bit of glue, and then carefully place the beak that's it, and the eyes. I I didn't have any pearls, but I just always have these safety eyes. And then I found this one in the garage. So I actually just cut off the pin. So I have these small ones for eyes. And the same thing again. We will remove some of the hair some of the yarn 
where we want the eyes to be. And that's it. Then a little glue. And the same place on the other side is about here. So remove the yarn. And a bit of glue. And make sure they're in the same place. I usually cut a bit of yarn just around the eyes. To make the eyes expression better. And that's it. We have our baby chick. I hope you found the tutorial easy to follow and if you did please press thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you again soon. Bye!